Welcome back to Dorking Tech Tips. Today we will be looking at how to label your cards and remotes differently and mass enable a block of devices to be assigned later. Let's get started by going to system information for your account. Click the plus sign next to your account folder. Then click on the word system information. Now that we are on the system information page, click on the device enable icon in the top toolbar. This will pull up the device association table. From factory, your device association table will look like this, with all device numbers being labeled as cards. The highest card number our system will accept is 65405. Here are some common device name examples. Keypad, this is typically used when you are using Wigan keypads, and the typical range is 0 to 09999. Cards is the most common name, as this is the factory setting. Ranges for cards could be all over the place. If naming your devices, we recommend that you order cards in consecutive order and continue with the consecutive numbering when ordering new cards so you can just expand the range. The next most common device name is remotes. Similar to cards, you also want to keep your remotes in a consecutive order so that you can just expand the range when ordering new remotes. I recommend keeping your ranges separated by at least a few thousand devices if possible. This way you have room to grow. Now it might be that your property is already established and when ordering cards and remotes the best practices of ordering your cards and remotes in consecutive order was not followed. Don't worry we have 10 lines here for naming devices so if you have a block that is not consecutive just add it to a new line like I have here. Now there is also an option to mass enable your device numbers as well. To do this click on the mass enable arrow to pull up the pop-up to activate blocks of devices. Here on the mass enable screen you can mass enable blocks of devices as long as they are within your device label name range. Adding a range is easy. Here at the bottom you will put your starting device then ending device and the last box will be your security level. I recommend keeping the security level for mass enabled devices set to 00, zero until the device is assigned. Once your boxes are filled out, click add. You should now see your mass enabled devices above which indicates the devices are available to be assigned to residents and will also show up in transactions after you update your panel. Congratulations on naming your devices and setting up a mass enable. All that's left now is to close down the mass enable window and X out of the device association window. Send data to your panel to update it with your latest information. Check back for more DKS Cloud videos and we'll see you next time for more Dorking Tech Tips.